All right, guys, so here we are again with lovely Hello. Kristen. <laughs> and we are going to do a few more details for you this time with my haircut. Yes. So um, I'm including kind of the consult part of this. And so. Because we do vary a little bit. Yes, from here we do. <laughs> so each week, or each time I come in, I just tell her where I'm feeling long or thick or bushy or whatever, and she tailors the cut for that. So I usually like to make sure she is not too. Um, gets too long through here. She's too long today. That means in four weeks, even though it's only four weeks, it'll start to get heavy and it won't want to flip. And plus it'll be too flippy, maybe. Too flippy, yeah. So um, in particular, areas where I feel like for her that I usually watch out is like this whole little yeah. kind of a headband area in that way, if you think. Yeah. Because if this isn't short enough here, it won't be spiky enough. But we do also have like this little spot back here that we don't like to go too short. So right. I um, will kind of narrate a little bit more when we're actually cutting so that you can understand what I'm saying with that. And then of course the basics of like, you know, her fringe or bangs, like how how short do you want to be there? And they actually don't look too long today, but. Yeah, they don't feel too long. I think I'll probably have you, last time we cut it more like central and I think I will have you go back to a little more just to one side. Um, we'll angle you up. Angle me up, yeah. <laughs> and my sides, I'll probably have her um, thin this out and kind of get a little bit um, shorter, more layered through here. Because she does get full every, she yeah. surely has very thick hair. <laughs> so I'm sure this is a question you may be wondering. Yeah. Well, I don't have very thick hair and can I do the same thing? And you can, it's just a lot of texturizing and probably more of a razor than anything. But with her, um, I definitely do a lot of thinning with thinning shears as well as um, a carving comb I usually use. And so I kind of feel her as, and I usually will ask, are you thick, are you thin? And then um, today she does feel a little thick, so I'll be able to kind of help that too. Yeah, awesome. Okay, okay. so now we're gonna go shampoo, and um, she has been using an awesome new product. And I'm gonna actually use the Monate Black on her. It's a, actually like a clarifying from Monate, um, which is a naturally based hair care product line that I've been really enjoying. Um, this isn't something you'd probably wanna use every day, it's just something that um, it keeps our blondes nice and bright, which I like to kind of keep her, give her a little sprucing up mm -hmm. when she comes in, as well as because she does use um, some pretty thick hair product, I like to kind of strip that out and give her a good clean palette. So nice. that's what we're doing. Yay, mm -hmm. and it feels wonderful and therapeutic too. <laughs> right? <laughs> so I use just a little tiny bit, a little pea-sized amount. It doesn't look like much, mm -hmm. as you can tell. Mm -hmm. um, I really emulsify it in my hands. Um, I'll for, probably for sure be washing with Monate. We at least do two washings. I might even give her three just because it's the first one's awfully um, Oftentimes kind of a little like like what am I doing? It's mm -hmm. kind of like lotion in the hair. Yeah, it's not very um, <laughs> Sudsy or anything. No, but what it does is it does help kind of start to break up the product a little bit in the hair and um, Just kind of starts to get it there. So I tend to just kind of run it through and kind of get it going because as you can see there really isn't any suds mm -hmm. But it sure smells nice. It does. It smells <laughs> wonderful. And this is typically, this is actually uh, Monique's men's line. They're two in one. So it's like a okay. shampoo and conditioner should nice. they want to use it. So it's a little, I don't want to say men smelling, but it's no, more yeah. fresh. Not, yeah. Not florally. Very pepperminty. Yeah. It smells so clean anyways. Mm -hmm. Is that? <laughs> not opposed to that. No, not at all. <laughs> Again, not too much, just a little bit. I kind of like to use this little emblem from my Nate, just as a little oh, bit of a guide. Go. Okay, that's not very much at all. No. It's tiny. And again, just run it through. And you will see this time it'll start to get a little bit more lather there. It means the hair is starting to get clean, right? <laughs> yeah, we like the dry wax, you know. <laughs> yeah, we do. It, and it definitely, it's actually one of probably the less gummier products, but I think yeah. over the four weeks of using it, it yes. does still kind of do the gumming up, like. Yeah, it, it builds up over four weeks' time, so it's always nice to start off fresh. Yeah, exactly. I always look in the sink too. There's kind of like, um, kind of like the bubbles and the suds in the sink. Mm -hmm. You know, they're kind of like you can tell they're kind of like the dirty bubbles, which are <laughs> kind of like just the hair not totally clean. You know, <laughs> with the That's product buildup. <laughs> Isn't that nice, Charlie? <laughs> <That's> wonderful. <laughs> So glad to know that I, know. I keep my hair so clean, right? I know. <laughs> so true. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and give a, one little condition here with the revitalized conditioner. Okay. 
just give a little, a little bit there, conditioning, just because that is the clarifying one. So we're just combing Shirley through here. I'm gonna just look and kind of check out some of her lengths here around, um, specifically the ears. Sometimes we go longer, shorter around here. So today, what would you like, actually, Shirley? Um, I still like to have like the front section, um, like just like right about to the tip of the earlobe, but angled up. Sure. But it's just feeling really pretty heavy. thick and heavy. Yeah, and nice. then back here, I think I'd like it to angle up and go a little bit shorter by the time we get to the top of the ear. Perfect. There. So she's definitely got a good amount of length to trim. So I'll definitely, probably for sure, be doing at least an inch um, trim on the old guideline around. So. What I like to do with the um, guideline is use the razor. So this is my little favorite comb. Um, and this particular one is just the one I like. I mean, we call it, it's a carving comb. Um, so I like this side right here that takes out a little bit more of that bulky side, a bulky, chunky, um, you know, the chunk, the hair that needs to be thinned out. This is the actual part that I use for the cutting. So um, I'm just trying to be specific so that way, you know, hairdressers can know. That's great. So helpful. So again, and then this side, we've already cut her length, so I'm just gonna take out her, I will use the shortening and the actual cutting part of this just to get her length a little gone there. So you go around and take out a lot of the thickness and bulk first. Yeah, the whole perimeter first is where I like to go. That way, then the interior of the cut, that's kind of um, mapped out a little bit when you've already done that. Mm -hmm. So, and it's nice because I like to keep it real soft so the, the razor itself allows for that, you know, it allows it not only for, for it to be um, lasting well today, but also in the future. I appreciate yeah. always like that. Yeah, that's a good thing. Okay, so from here, I actually kind of um, like to take it up. I know we haven't, we're not going to layer these bangs too much, right? Right. Mm -hmm. We've been leaving these a little longer, so as you can tell, the guideline here is kind of not super um, short, but where I'll take it is from kind of a little bit back, I'll start to cut. And again, that little headband area I was talking about, mm -hmm. she said she felt a little longer than normal, so I'm gonna go a little shorter there, but not much. So it's between like a half inch to three fourths of an inch. That's today, but sometimes if she's not that long, sometimes it's just that half inch. Mm -hmm. So I just kind of pull it all, pull up at 90 degrees, get that established, as well do some point cutting in there so that it kind of breaks up the bulkiness because she is so thick. Not that big. I can tell a big difference between point cutting and no point cutting or less. So I love the point cutting. Makes right. a difference. Right, like the longevity, right? Yes. Like, mm -hmm. So as you can see here, yeah. I've already trimmed this here. Yeah. So this is about the length that I'm trimming, mm -hmm. which is a little more on the than the average. Shirley does come every four weeks, so she's pretty regular. Um, others that may not come, but every eight, you know, you might be cutting for sure at least an inch off every time. Mm -hmm. um, today we just need to shorten it up. It seems like one haircut we do a good trim. Yeah. Like today's a tr good trim day. Mm -hmm. And then in the future, next time you might be just a... Just a light, Like yeah. a light cleaning. Yeah. That's true. And it's not that I couldn't go <laughs> six to eight weeks, but it definitely the hairstyle does change and it it's not quite as spiky and <laughs> because my hair grows so fast it does change it a little bit but so yeah. I, I particularly let like the whole crown kind of set a lot of the basis as well as and then I'll marry between the top to the bottom together but this is where she likes it spiky mm -hmm. but she likes that back area here to kind of lay down we don't like because she does have some calyx that we don't want to like you know, <laughs> have out there so um we just take this and I kind of just keep playing with it and see that we get the desired length without going too short. I can always shorten more. Mm -hmm. Always take more off. Right. You can't paste it back on. I learned that a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a hard day. Yeah. Right? Exactly. I think it was a bang trim when oh. I was like on myself when I was oh. like. <laughs> That's the best. I know. Oh, whoops. Oh, right. Wow. Exactly. Good thing we got four weeks. All right. Throw it out. Exactly. So I definitely think through the crown I'm doing between a half inch to an inch, just depending on where and what. And I always, even while doing the perimeter or the um, actual cutting, I kind of am always point cutting on her. I'm not doing much of a straight cut. Mm -hmm. And I 
appreciate that. I know it takes a lot more work to do that, but it really makes a difference with this cut. And there's sometimes if she feels extra bulky, I'll really get in there. Like I'll just this is just me cutting the guideline, but sometimes I'll really get in there and get yeah. close to the head mm -hmm. and really dig deep in there, mm -hmm. and that will help for that too. So when it comes to the back here, I've already trimmed all that perimeter. So now I'm just taking and um, pulling it up at that like it's pretty much a 90 degree. I pull it straight out from her hair um, or from her scalp there. So and then I just ankle it up. And again, I've kind of already cut this um, area back here. So as you can see, I'm gonna find that guideline right here. And um, and then I just, you know, there's times where we can con like condense cutting, which means we can cut a lot, but on short haircuts in general, mm -hmm. especially ones that require a lot of um, point cutting, you can kind of see in there that it's better to take small sections <laughs> just because then you know. Behind the ear here a lot of times gets kind of thick on everybody in any kind of short haircut. So um, I will oftentimes either, I want to say go a little shorter, but I'll extra thin through there. taken out a lot of the weight and you can use a razor too there and I probably will I just kind of go there through all of it I think a lot of people too I, I know that Shirley has kind of um, expressed some of the things that people do inquire about and one of them has been like well is your hair thick is it thin mm -hmm. yes and like I said before hers is very thick um, but I do believe as a um, someone a little thinner they can still achieve this look is it gonna look exactly the same probably not but but will it be similar yeah but um, I think just her having so much hair and density in her hair that um, you know it creates whether it be that the colors dimensional as it is mm -hmm. or um, just the cut looks the way it is it's you know your thickness does have a bit different um it does uh, Thickness or thinness does have a you know an impact on what a haircut looks like. Yeah, that's true. But it, it's good to know you don't have to have as thick of hair as I do to achieve kind of the spikiness and because um, you do take out a lot of thickness. So yeah, exactly. So someone who isn't as thick, mm -hmm. you just would get the same kind of haircut in there, and you just don't texturize as much. Okay.
So what I'm doing with her hair, this might be a little goofy, is I'm just kind of feeling overall, like what is it feeling like? Is it feeling thick anywhere? And this is a good way of kind of feeling it, you know? Mm -hmm. Am I feeling a little shorter in areas or am I okay or whatever. And that's something that I would guess it takes a couple of cuts for a stylist to know what the client preferences are. Totally, because some people that. would get so sprayed if they left and their hair was maybe a certain right. like thinness. Thin. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Whereas I've learned with you and I, um, we, you know, thinner sometimes is a little, I don't want to say better, better but yeah. can be. <laughs> right, it can, yeah. So again, now these are thinning shears, just normal, to, nothing too thick or whatever. And I just take them through and I just kind of, right through that bottom area. She's already been razor. In particular, that's where I typically use the um, thinning shears. It's, it's more of the back. Right in the back, yeah. And then I think I think why is I think I just like the more custom look out of the um, the razor in the front around the perimeter and the chunkiness that the razor can offer mm -hmm. through there. I might do like a couple. She kind of gets a little thick right through here too, which is she just has a lot of hair right there. <laughs> she promises to leave me some hair before I done. <laughs> some people might be thinking, God, I would have no hair after this. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of, sometimes it looks a little scalping ish, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's gone. That's one thing with the dry wax that it really does get off yeah, of that hold. Don't need much. Yeah. yeah. This stuff smells really good. I will give you that. Let's see what, what is the... this this particular one is the uh, the grip cream from the Imi from oh. Wella. Okay. I do like that. I like to get it really yeah, in there. Like it. Yeah. Because I know do you kind of chunk it out a little bit, mm -hmm. right? Like I saw mm -hmm. you styling a little mm -hmm. bit. some questions for you guys <laughs> thanks for coming along with us yeah it was fun we'll see you next time bye, bye. <laughs>